Hi there. Now for this question, we're asked to solve the equation x squared minus 6x minus 2 equals 0, giving all your answers in simplified third form for three marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this, I've done so already, as usual, just pause the video. OK, welcome back then, if you had a go. Now there's two ways of solving this quadratic equation. One is by using the quadratic formula, or the other is by completing the square. You just make a choice, it doesn't matter which one you use. I'll show you both methods though. Just as a quick reminder, remember if you've got a quadratic equation that has the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, then x is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, all divided by 2a. So that uh, in the first part then of this, if we use the quadratic formula for solving then x squared minus 6x minus 2 equals 0, a is 1, b is minus 6, and c is minus 2. So therefore, we end up with x equaling minus b, so it's minus minus 6, or plus 6, and then that's plus or minus the square root then of b squared minus 4ac. Now for b squared, make sure you put that in brackets because it's a negative term, minus 6 all squared. Then minus 4 times a times the c value, which is minus 2. And then it's all divided by 2 times a, 2 times 1 in other words. And if we simplify this, we've got 6 there, plus or minus. Now we've got 36 here, and then plus another 8. So that's going to be 44. So plus or minus the square root of 44. And this is all divided by 2. Now when it comes to simplifying the root of 44, this is the same as 11 times 4. So what we've got here then is 6 plus or minus 11 times 4, or even 4 times 11. Okay, and then that's divided by 2. So we can do the square root of 4 multiplied by the square root of 11. So we've got 6 plus or minus the square root of 4, which is 2. Square root of 11, well, that doesn't really give us a nice value. So we'll just leave it as root 11, and that's all divided by 2. Now we've got two terms here, and both of them are divisible by 2. So we can divide both the 6 and the 2 root 11 by 2 to give us, finally, 3 plus or minus root 11. And there's your answer. And the alternative way, then, is to do it by completing the square. And so if we take that method, OK, x squared minus 6x minus 2 equals 0, first of all. Completing the square with this, OK, I'm assuming that you're familiar with completing the square. You can always check out tutorials on my website for this. But what we do is we just put a curved bracket here with a square there. We put x at the front here, and we halve the coefficient of x. The coefficient of x is minus 6 at the moment, so if we halve that, that's going to be minus 3. So when we square this out, what we end up with is x squared, and then we get minus 3x minus another 3x, which would be minus 6x. But then we get minus 3 times minus 3, which is plus 9. Well, there's no 9 here, so we take it away and we put in the minus 2. So this comes to x squared minus 6x minus 2, and that will equal 0. So what we've got here now is x minus 3, all squared, and we've got minus 11 here. Well, if I add 11 to both sides, it's going to equal 11. And then I take the square root to both sides, so I get x minus 3 on the left-hand side, and if we take the square root of 11, don't forget it will be plus or minus then the root of 11. And we're nearly there because all we need to do next is just add 3 to both sides. So we end up with x equals 3 plus or minus root 11 by completing the square. So either way, that's what you should end up with. 